let's all have tea first, shall we? Milk? Thank you. Sugar? Oh, no. <laughs> no, thank you. I say, what delicious looking scones. They're scotch scones. About this little talk you wanted to have with me. A speciality of mine, copied from a recipe of my grandmother's. Oh. You're quite a little housewife, aren't you? And something of a literary figure, too. She fancies herself as a poetess, you know, goes to evening class to learn about meter and all that rubbish. Really? George? Well, they look quite delicious. May I try one? Help yourself. They're what we used to call girdle scones. Or troop scones. It's awfully important not to let the oven get too hot. Otherwise, the outsides of the scones will be brown before the insides are cooked. These are a lovely even colour. Well, I always cool them in a towel. Do you? Yes. And I wait until the bubbles rise to the surface before I turn them over. Well, they're very successful. Well, I use half a level teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. Oh, now you're giving away trade secrets. And one level teaspoonful of cream of tartar. Shut up. And one egg. Shut up. Some people prefer two eggs, but I think one's enough. Shut up! Now, then, girls. Girls. She hates me to talk about food. She's a wee bit overwrought. Oh, bullshit. Oh, don't they make a lovely couple? They do, they really do. Oh. I'm surprised you haven't taken the plunge. Still waiting for Mr. Wright to come along, are you? Well, there was a young man once, you know, wartime it was. He was in the RAF. Killed over Berlin. Ah, there were lots of good boys went that way. Lovely boys, all of them. Ah, that they were. Ah, uh, they certainly were. 